Hi, let's do a short tutorial on how to do uh, kind of the mother of all functions in Excel, which is VLOOKUP um, in R. Um, I thought about how to do this uh, because I think that a lot of people don't know exactly what VLOOKUP actually does and what the limitations are and how it's different from SQL joins and, and table merges. Um, but let's just do the technical bit and uh, take some simple cases. Um, without getting too much into the pitfalls of, uh, of this issue. And maybe I'll do a uh, more in-depth um, tutorial on, on, on some other stuff in the future. So as always, let's clean up the workspace, get your working directory if you don't know where it is, or uh, reset it to whatever you want. Uh, let's take the empty cars, which is a built-in um, data set in, in our studio and uh, just convert it into a data frame. So this is the, uh, this is the data set. You got a bunch of uh, car models. It's a very old data set, so <laughs> you probably don't know most of these. And just a bunch of statistics about these car models. Now, notice that um, this, the, the names of the car models are not actually a part of the table. Okay, they're not a column of the table. They're stored in the, um, in the row name, um, object of R. So let's change that. Um, I'm going to take the row names of empty cars. Okay, these are the row names. And I'm going to store these in a new column called car name. Let's have a look at empty cars. Okay, that's the car name. So you see the names, uh, the row names here, the, the column here. And now let's get rid of the actual row names. So we just have it as a column here. Okay, now let's uh, read in a uh, countries lookup table and write both of these tables. Let's have a look here. You see the models, you see the country manufacturing, and you see a useless data column, which we'll uh, see what that's for in a bit. Let's write those to uh, the working directory and open them. So this is the countries one. And the empty cars one. Let's just put them both in the same worksheet. And run a simple lookup. This is how you would normally do it. Okay. Country. Now, um, VLOOKUP is, is basically very unique to, to Excel. Uh, the way it's done in, in other software is basically through table merges. And it's something that Excel actually knows how to do very well. Uh, and a lot of people are not familiar with that. Let's just uh, open a clean Excel sheet here. And I'm going to use the uh, get and transform um, in, uh, in Excel two th 2016. In earlier versions, you might have to download uh, what's known as Power Query uh, to do it. And let's get the CSVs in. So that's going to be first query. Let's get the second query. Let's just make sure it uses the first row as headers. Close and load. Same thing here. And delete this one. And now let's uh, add a new query. 
which is going to combine these two queries with the with the merge uh, command. And this is the same as a SQL table join. If you're not familiar with it, uh, I do suggest you familiarize with it. It's very, very useful both in Excel and outside of Excel. So we're going to take the empty cars. That's going to be our first um, uh, table. And we're going to merge it with countries on model equals car name. And it's going to be a left join, even though it doesn't really matter in this case. This is not a tutorial about joins. Uh, there are plenty of great uh, sources out there on uh, join types. So if you don't know what this is, go ahead and read it. And then what you get is a new table with the uh, uh, countries additions. Let's open that up and here we get all the data from the um, uh, second table from the join table and you can remove whatever you don't want and load it. And this is basically the exact same thing that would happen in a SQL join or in a um, R merge, which is what we're going to do. So the actual syntax is very, very easy, and it does exactly what we just did in Excel. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to merge the empty cars data set with the country's data set by X, meaning by the first data set, by Y, meaning by the data set, and which um, uh, key column is going to be equal to which uh, column key on, on the other um, on the other data set and let's have a look at what we get and sure enough it um, added the columns from the second uh, the second from the country set to the first table now notice that if we don't explicitly tell it not to use all the columns it's just going to take all of them so we get this useless data column here which is why I added it so let's see how we explicitly tell it to select only the relevant columns um, so what we want to do is instead of joining empty cars and countries, we just want to join empty cars with countries, uh, rows, or sorry, columns model and manf country. Okay, this is option number one. If you want to explicitly tell it the names, or you can just say countries uh, all rows, so nothing before the apostrophe, and columns one through two. And these will both be exactly the same. Let's have a look. Okay, so now we don't have the useless column. And this is going to do exactly the same thing. Great. Now, uh, just to keep it in line with all the other tutorials, usually we use the tidyverse um, packages for um, just getting nicer, cleaner, easier to read syntax, even though I don't think in this particular case it's... Uh, it's any uh, better than the the original base R uh, version. So what we what we tell the um, uh, the deep uh, library to do is use the left join. So if you know SQL, uh, this will ring a bell. So you left join empty cars with countries by uh, concat car name equals model, and that's going to do the first option, so with the useless data column, and then if we want to explicitly tell it to only take the, um, uh, the first and second column, uh, we use this syntax down below. It's a little bit different than, than here, but works just the same. And so those are pretty much all your options. Select which, uh, which one uh, you fancy, and uh, I hope you find this useful. Um, it's incredibly useful. I mean, you have to do it like every single time you um, you do any kind of uh, data munging and preparation. Um, so let me know if you have any questions uh, in the comment section and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.